Ah, uh, as the sun rises, we realize everything is okay. Yay! What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to a bonus episode of Let's Play Ocarina of Time. Now, before we start off this random bonus episode that doesn't exist for any reason other than just because, uh, I, I just want to try calling Epona, because watch. I've tried this three times now, and whenever I call her... Where is she? She's just not around. However, I hear galloping. Very, very slow galloping. I don't know where she is. I'm... Maybe to assume that she's somewhere on the screen and that's why I can't call her. The galloping's getting quiet, I think. That's really weird. I don't remember where the last place I put a Pona was. I feel like it would have been over here when we went pole hunting though, right? Nope, she's not here. Huh. Try it again. Oh, come on! There we go. I did it. Yeah, I played a simple song. I totally had to look up what a Pona song was before the beginning. Where is she? I don't want to walk around Hyrule Field without a Pona. What the heck, man? Pona, where are you? I just want you to be okay, okay? That's all I want out of this. An okay, Pona. Okay, let's try over here. Oh man, I'm probably just too far away from him. We're gonna have to play three times. We're just hitting a random note on that first set of notes or something. I don't even freaking know, yo bro. Oh, there we go. I wonder where the heck she was. I have no clue. I don't know if the, where she runs from might be an indication of where she was before. Maybe she was stuck on like this wall or something over here. You know what? That's okay, because this is just a random episode anyways where I walk around and do random crap. Ooh, this looks like- oh, you know what? I totally went down the hole before, didn't I? I thought a rock just respawned. Or did it? Let's find out! This time on Game Theory! Uh, I don't know why Game Theory really says, hey, it's a Poe! Yeah, but that is not a big Poe, however. That'd be awesome if you could hit her. <laughs> Oscar and I also shot a random big- or uh, a random Poe that showed up beside me, but it didn't- it did normal damage, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. And plot that cares, which I totally do. Really? There's nothing there? Nothing at all? Fine, let's move on. If I could get on a Pona. I hate you! I hate you, big po. Dude, no! I want to gallop forward! Let me let me gallop forward, please. Yeah, there we go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh my no. <laughs> Come on, get through the gate. There we go. So really underrated version or part of Hyrule Field is over here. Not really underrated, but like it's really unused. It's like what the heck is in this corner? I feel like they had put a secret hole over here or something. And well, I did not want this to be like just an episode where I ran bomb, bomb random spots. I do want to try bombing that because I feel like there should be like a hole. No, there's nothing. Okay, there's just absolutely nothing in this corner of Hyrule. It seems. Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, let's get you through. So if you guys came here to see like progress in the game or something, this is the wrong episode. Because this is usually just a bonus episode where I just, just walk around and just, you know, slay the demon of playing this game for the last time. Just, just kind of explore, you know? Yay, I found a hole. Let's go see what's in it. Do I have any room for rupees? I probably should, right? Yeah, 380. Oh yeah, we have not even opened this yet. So I'm gonna find some cool holes that, you know, we see different textures than we've seen before. A red poopy! Yay! I did it. And bugs. We don't care about- I need magic. No, not really. But it would make me happy if we ended this series on, like, full magic or something. That's- that's crazy! We're ending the series! Another one of the main Nintendo games. Down the hoop. Or hatch. Or something. That's weird, but I'm slowly running out of games to play. Which, by this point in the time where you guys are seeing this, um, I, I would have had to have Wii U by now, right? I have to. So, I mean, by now you guys have, like, you know, I probably have more games to play and stuff in Stoops. Newer games! It's weird just knowing, like, most of the games I've been, like, you know, playing that, like, I've played as a kid or just, you know, it mean a lot to me, I guess. Even though this game doesn't exactly mean a lot to me. But, you know, like, these older games are all, like, Coming to kind of a close. I mean, there's still a lot of like 2D games. Actually, I haven't really even touched too many of the 2D games like Mario or um, even Zelda. But like all the 3D main ones are all pretty much coming to a close. 
but you know, more will pop up. It's just kind of crazy to me that like you know, I beat games faster than uh, Nintendo produces games, <laughs> which is a crazy thought. But I would go up here and explore all these boulders um, and Druidal or uh, near Druidal Fortress there. However, I did that off screen when I was hunting for rupees before when I was trying to do that target game, the horseback target game. And only one of them had a hole underneath. I even bombed all underneath the rocks and I didn't find a gosh dog diggity thing. Which is poopy and annoying. But, um. Yeah, I didn't find anything besides one and it only gave me like 20 rupees or something stupid like that. What's over here? Anything? Is this just like random great and that's it? That totally is what that is. Is there a hole over here? Is there a boulder? There's gotta be something, right? Why does I put my iron boots on right here? I'm quickly discovering this is not as fun as I thought it was going to be. Oh, there's, that is just the ground right there. I thought there was a random pool around here somewhere that... Oop, okay. Eh! No, I want to throw it! Ugh. Now I'll quickly take on my boost, which will cause a glitch to happen where the bomb will explode prematurely. Just kidding. Ha! <laughs> That's funny, that bomb exploded from the other bomb. Okay, I'm just kind of throwing it around half diddly expecting a random hole to appear. Much like this one over here. Have I gone down here? I do not- Oh, you know what? There's a bet. This is where I got the heart piece. Oh! Fairy fountain! Interesting. Well, whatever. I'm, I'm happy with what I have. I'm okay with this. There should be a fairy that heals magic instead of just health. Is that a thing in any Zelda game? I don't think it is, but I don't really know too much about the 2D Zelda game, so... I mean, it could potentially be in that one. Or one of those, I suppose. Uh, Epona, I wish to get on your back, please. Don't you hit the ground with your hoof. Thank you. With your freaking black ass tail. Dang, sucker. <laughs> when people say, uh, insert word here, ass something, like, you know, black ass tail, it's just, it's always, it's always sounding really weird to me because I just think of, like, a black butt. You know what? Uh, and then whatever the other word was, there was a hole right there. But I've totally been down. There. What the heck? What's that beside that tree? Those just roots. Those are kind of scary roots. It looks like an alien tree. <laughs> okay then. Believe it or not, we've actually explored the majority of Hyrule Field already in eight minutes. Not even eight minutes. That's kind of sad. <laughs> This place is not as big as I remember it being. Actually, it's probably just not, just not as big just because we're on a Pona. I mean, for Pete's sake, man! I thought there'd be a lot more to do than this. I mean, this is kind of pathetic, actually. Is there anything over here? If not, I might just have to end this off prematurely and call a bonus episode later. Can we jump this fence? Yeah! Oh, I thought I was gonna jump off the cliff there. Can I jump off this fence? No! What? That been so cool, though! See if you can do it. I want to try it again. Maybe I just didn't use my coats right, dude. Turn around. There we go, son. And right meow. No, you can't do it. Huh? Well, that's kind of disappointing. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if I could jump off that ledge. I don't know why my, you know, I'm so infatuated with trying to get a pony to jump off ledges for her. I just kind of wanted to break her legs, because, you know, I'd find it funny. Just kidding! I wouldn't- Oh, I can't even get up there. Why is this wall even here, then? That's kind of weird. Turn around, Pona. Why is that wall there? It seems like they started to put something there, and they're like, eh, forget it. <laughs> this was supposed to be like a fortress in the middle of Hyrule Field, but eh, for let's forget it. <gasps> oh, I know what we could do! Holy cow, I forgot about this! Okay, let's go over here. Come on, carrots. I knocking out of. Holy crap! That, those take forever to come back. Yeah, 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 I need it. All right, let's go. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way completely. No. Um, I'm really disoriented right now. Apparently, I do gotta go around this wall. Yeah, I did it! Yay! Oh, perfect! It's turning morning. Awesome. I definitely feel like time goes by quicker when you're in Hyrule Field. Just wait for it to become morning. Morning. Come on. Crow. There we go. 
Oh, oh, that was that was a great <laughs> that was a great speed up boost. Okay, so what me and my friend used to do before I even really knew what this game was was we would mess with the chickens, the cuckoos, if you must. So we'd come over here. Oh, the music's not even playing though. The music's got to be playing. Uh, what's the song for day again? Holy crap, I'm shocked I even remember that. Yay! Okay, so one of my fondest memories of this game, before I even really knew what it, wait, oh, opponent is still here. Before I even knew what this really was, when me and my friend Jason used to play this at his house, it would be, wait, why is it night? Uh, I did not even know, that did not even, like, strike me until, like, I got all the way over here. Or, you know, until I mentioned it. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, we have to have the music playing. Even though, you know, you guys can barely hear it over my stupidly overpowering voice. What do you want, Luigi? Hi, how are you? Hi, Minkle. I feel so honored to be allowed to work here. Strange. I wonder if he says anything when I'm on a Pona. I mean, just the way he says that, I mean, he's... Is he fearful of me or something? Or should we get, like, mind read him or something? Just, just to know what he's thinking. Speak. Okay. Okay, that's weird. Um... Really weird. Is he all... Like... Does he, is he not on Ganon's side anymore? There's some kind of weird side effect of beating the game? Well, I guess I didn't beat the game. Since when you load up the game, you can't beat it after you beat Ganon. So, I mean, technically, this is pre-beating Ganon. Are these guys with arrows, I wonder? Ow. Come on. Eh. There we go. <laughs> I'm holding the sword up to my neck for some reason. And I just totally sliced through my neck. Oh my god, that eyeball. Ah! Flee from the cuckoos! This is very reminiscent of attacking Toucan and Josh Jefferson's versus challenge, where you have to avoid the cuckoos as long as possible. Um, you know what I totally just realized? I could have totally been on opponent, on an opponent and totally broken that challenge so badly. Okay, so what me and my friend used to do is we used to race the cuckoos around the, the corral here. Why? I don't freaking know. It was dumb, and sometimes I would actually catch up. I'm sure they will in a second here. Actually, let's stop galloping. Just, just see if they do catch up. Yeah, they're right there. See, so like, oh my god! It's like, we have to do 10 laps. Can we beat the cuckoos? I don't know, and then there's just more for some reason. They're just really weird. I don't know if they ever calm down. I think they do eventually, actually, don't they? Maybe if you get ahead enough? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they'll just sometimes fly on the screen. You can always hear them behind you, but... I don't know. Like, coming back to it, like, this is obviously, like, if I did this today with a friend, like, Let's race the cookies around the corral! Like, it would just be like, really? This is, this is fun. We And I can't even hit you on, you're on a pull now, so it's like, eh. We do some crazy low, like we try to do 10 laps or 50 laps. Thank you very much for the other day. I haven't even asked you your name yet. Link? Really? Link? That's what I thought. You're the fairy boy from the forest. I'm not a fairy. <laughs> that was years ago. Do you remember me? <coughs> you do? Uh, I was sure it was you because I point I remembered you. Oh, I have to tell you about Mr. Ingo. Did I miss all this plot? Apparently I did. He was afraid that the evil king might find out Epona had been taken away. It really upset him. But one day, all of a sudden, he went back to being all normal. Nice person. Nice person. Now my dad is coming back. I can't believe it, but peace is returning to this ranch. It's all because of you. I you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Link. Aw, she's so happy. Did she repeat that? Like, I probably should not miss that line of text. Whoopsies. No. Pona looks great. It looks like you were able to tame her too. How about trying your skill with Ingo? Oh, what she said. Oh, I. Okay. Is she racing me? Am I just racing myself? This fence is now? I had no idea this existed. That is really freaking cool. Huh. Did you say 50 seconds? Oh, man. There's no way I'm gonna be able to jump that fence. <laughs> I need carrots! Get me carrots! Do I have to do three laps or something crazy like that? I better not be able to. You failed! You have to jump over all the fences! Holy god! What?! This is a thing?! Are you making sure to approach the fences head-on? If you approach at an angle, the horse won't- Oh, I did not even know that. 
If you want to try again, mount Epona and get ready. I totally want to try it one more time before we end this. Are we trying your skill with Epona on an obstacle course? I'll time you for two laps. It's pretty challenging. If you miss, uh, miss jumping your fence in the proper order, you fail. Oh! I see. How about it? Let's try it. Okay. The current record is 50 seconds. Two laps? First, first try to beat this record. If you can beat the record, I'll give you a present. Give it your... Ooh, a present. Ooh. Right, let's get started. I had no idea this existed. I didn't know... I don't think I've ever seen anybody do this. Okay, let's not use my carrots then. One carrot per fence. One carrot per fence. One carrot per fence. Wait, do I even need... Oh, I don't even need the carrots for the tiny baby fence, apparently. Oh man. Well, apparently not for that well. I guess we'll never know, guys, because I don't feel like doing that again. <laughs> jump the- WHAT?! You can't jump the fence! What the heck not?! Okay, let's purposely fail then, so we get the heck out of here. You failed! Don't tell me I failed! I could do what I want, Mom! Yeah, yeah. No! No! I didn't- God dang it! I pressed B as in B as in no, you know? Where is she? Holy crap, she's shooting at me, apparently, with a gun that I did not even realize existed in this game. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, nope, that's just not a thing you can do. It's not an option. I'm just gonna jump this again. Whoa. Okay, apparently she didn't disqualify me. I don't have to do crap, woman! I do what I want! Alright, can I get on a Pona? Fine, there we go. Alright, goodbye, batch. Just kidding, I love you. I mean, I, I don't, I'm not admitting my childhood crush. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know, I probably, I feel like that's probably something one of my friend Jason, like we would have came across her and be like, isn't she pretty? He's like, yeah, I'm totally having a crush, I'm totally having a crushing on her. <laughs> uh, Pona, you let me down. Just want to let you know, Pona, you failed me. Terrible horse! Jump the freaking god! Ugh. Freaking wall that I don't even understand why it exists. Just maybe to prevent stupid people like me from jumping off and dying. Okay, so there's one last thing I want to do here. I want to go to Link's house. Because I'm pretty sure we have a present there for us. That I forgot even existed up until like about five minutes ago when I made it to Long Island Ranch. Couldn't get down here because the opponent can't walk much further. I think the barrier where opponent can't walk in is this tree right here. The invisible wall. I like how the entrance to Kokiri Woods is just a log in the wall. Like, isn't that weird? And same here, just a bridge to a log in the wall. I'm just live in this really secluded place. Ain't no army gonna be able to take over this place. Mm -mm. Uh, where's Link's house again? I always get disoriented when I come here. It's right here, right? Yeah. Totes my goats. All right. I almost feel like it would be appropriate to end this series with me as a kid going back to bed. But that takes too much effort, so we're gonna go as a grown-up to bed. Wait. Wait, isn't there supposed to be a cow in here? How do you get the cow in here? Link's records! Spider squashed 100! Largest fish caught 20 pounds! Marathon, marathon time? 2 minutes 38 seconds! Horse race time? 0 seconds! Yeah. Horseback archery. I'm really fast in the horse race. Holy crap. Horseback archery, 1530. Yay. Okay. There's a way to get a cow in here, but I don't remember how, and I'm not interested enough to try and get it. So, thank you guys so much for watching the series once again. You already saw all my blah 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 ending shenanigans with me. Kill cheery eyed, but not really. I'm yawning, which is a good sign that I need to stop. <sighs> oh, so was Lake. He wants to go to bed. There should totally be a lie down. Action, like press A to lie down on Link's own bed. Doesn't even have to be on the rest of the bed, just Link's bed. That would have been nice. And that would maybe get you, give you the option to save or something. Like, you can still save whenever you want, but you know, it'd be cool if they let you save here and then maybe quit or something. Anyways, I guess that's it. Oh, you know what? Oh, right. That's, that's weird. Um, I just realized you could see the columns up there that we could jump across and all that. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this Let's Play. Well, that would be it for me. Guess I'll talk to you later in the next one. Remember, this whole series to watch old and new. Goodbye, guys.
Don't rub your shoes in your bed, you silly little goofball.